Here we have the sand sifting starfish, Hocaster typicus. As with all echneoderms, which includes starfish, sea urchins, and sand dollars, they require special treatment for acclimatization and transportation. It is very important that when being transported, the starfish is not taken out of the water at any point. Starfish use seawater instead of blood to transport oxygen and food around their bodies. If they're lifted out of the water, the air can get trapped inside their bodies and cause a stroke. This also makes them particularly susceptible to changes in water parameters, especially salinity. A change in water conditions is the equivalent of a full blood transfusion and it can be very stressful on the starfish. When acclimatizing the starfish, acclimatize them using the drip method over a minimum of two hours plus an extra hour for every point of salinity difference between the shipping water and the water in the aquarium. Starfish feed exclusively on debris within the sand bed. They need quite a mature sand bed to get enough to be able to eat. They move using a hydraulic system, pumping seawater in and out of their feet. You can see in this video how they suction the foot to the glass, pump seawater out to maintain suction, and pump it back in to release their grip. Starfish make an interesting addition to the home aquarium.